वेलकम बैक टू स्केलर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन टू डे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग एंड ट्री बेस्ड मॉडल इन मशीन लर्निंग इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग मोर अबाउट दिस रेवोल्यूशनरी टेक्नोलॉजी कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो पीपल हु कम फ्रॉम टेक्निकल बैकग्राउंड माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट ट्री बेस्ड मॉडल्स मशीन लर्निंग और ए आई वट आर दीज वट इज मशीन लर्निंग विद ट्री बेस्ड मॉडल्स If you want the answer to these questions stick with us till the end of this video as we are here to clear all your doubts today we will tell you what happens under the hood but before we discuss this any further make sure you subscribe to our channel and keep receiving all the updates hit the bell icon to never miss an insightful update from us without further ado let's quickly move to today's agenda to understand what we will cover in today's session let's get started we will follow top to bottom approach and start with the basics what are tree based models the significance of a decision tree what exactly is a random forest what is bagging and what is boosting we hope the agenda is clear now it's time to dive into the actual discussion without wasting any more time let's start with our first topic what are tree based models if you look around carefully you will see there are millions and millions of machine learning examples that you deal with daily without noticing them because you are so used to them some of the most common examples of machine learning are the face detection algorithm or netflix recommendations in today's digital era machine learning is applied almost everywhere tree based classification models are exceptionally important in the world of supervised machine learning algorithms which are also one of the type of machine learning What makes these tree based models extra special is that they can be used for both classification and regression unlike other machine learning algorithms since our main area of discussion is in the decision tree let's directly jump to the gist of today's video before discussing the decision tree let us tell you why we choose decision tree on the very first go the decision tree is one of the most important yet easy machine learning algorithms which belongs to one of the few interpretable models where you can understand why decision is being made now that you have back story let's take you through decision tree in detail what is a decision tree in technical terms a decision tree is a graphical representation of multiple possible solutions to a decision based on a particular condition After learning the definition you might wonder why this algorithm is called a decision tree well we have the answer the machine learning algorithm is known as the decision tree because it starts with the root and the branches are all possible solution just like a tree starts from a root and has multiple branches we believe most of you have used the decision tree algorithm but never understood it in real life let's understand how Remember when you dial a toll free number it directs you to intelligent computerized assistant who asks you to dial 1 for a specific option 2 for a particular reason and so on the moment you start following their instructions it directs you to another voice repeating the process this goes on until you reach the right person who gives you a reliable solution you might think you are trapped but it's actually a decision tree where the company tries to resolve your problems through a well defined structure Let us now understand the decision tree with another example. Imagine you want to go out swimming this evening. What would be your first step? You will probably check how the weather is. Is it sunny? If not, when will it rain? If not, is the weather suitable for swimming? Now, that's exactly what a decision tree is, where you are bound to answer all possible questions to reach a reliable answer. With a clear understanding of the decision tree, it's time to move further and understand the next tree based model in machine learning, the random forest. So what exactly is a random forest? Let's understand here. What is a random forest? One of the most used and popular supervised machine learning algorithms is random forest, used majorly in classification and regression. As the name suggests, the machine learning algorithm randomly creates a forest using multiple trees. So the higher number of trees, the better the accuracy. In simpler words, we can say a random forest is a mix of multiple decision trees known as forests. They are glued together to achieve reliable solution or predictions. Note, like most machine learning algorithms, the random forest algorithm is applied to a number of industries including e-commerce and banking, where consumer behavior plays a major role. This algorithm helps get accurate predictions. The random forest trees mostly establish decisions based on human behavior prediction. 
therefore the more the trees the more accurate the prediction will be one of the major advantages of random forest algorithm being widely preferred is that it eradicates the limitation of another tree based model which is the decision tree algorithm in machine learning unlike other models it minimizes the overloading of data sets which increases precision and delivers accurate results let's understand the decision tree via example say a training data set consists of different fruits including apples bananas and oranges this data set is further classified into subsets given to each decision tree in the random forest as a random forest is a group of various decision trees one predicts tree 1 and tree 2 have apples and another decision tree has oranges as the outcome after the final voting the one holding the majority wins since we have a clear idea of what decision trees are what their significance of random forest is it's time we move our next step and discuss our next topic bragging or bootstrap aggregating have any of you heard of the word bragging if you already know something about machine learning algorithms and tree based models you must also know it without further ado let's look at it closely what exactly is bragging bootstrap aggregation popularly known as bragging is a machine learning algorithm primarily designed to improve the condition of variance within a noisy data set it promotes the stability and accuracy of machine learning algorithms used in regression and classification it is believed that the random forest model which we discussed is an extension of bootstrap aggregation model responsible for accurate prediction leo breman introduced bagging algorithm in 1996 and since then it has been with us decluttering our lives this popular machine learning algorithm is used widely in an array of industry including healthcare it finance environment etc which automates critical tasks and minimizes the risk prevailing in the particular industry with this we come to today's last topic boosting in machine learning it is one of the most useful machine learning algorithms in data science competitions as winners agree that the boosting algorithm improves the accuracy and precision of their models as the name suggests boosting gives power to a weaker learner and converts them into a strong learner if you want us to tell you more about boosting algorithms or how they work we request you to take the pause from this video and subscribe to our channel also hit that like button if you truly loved it Let's discuss today's last topic called boosting algorithms in machine learning. What is boosting? We live in a digital world where we produce an immeasurable amount of data every day. Don't you think there is an urgent need to develop more advanced and complex machine learning techniques that separate your data and store it properly without issues? Luckily, we have the boosting learning techniques that exactly solve our data storing problems. Before we discuss boosting in machine learning, we draw your attention to why it is needed. Why was boosting in machine learning introduced? Let's understand. Boosting machine learning is another highly popular and widely used machine learning algorithm which can be used to solve complex data driven real world problems that arises in different industries starting from banking to IT and e-commerce. Let's understand this via an example. Imagine you are given a data set that contains a certain set of images about cats and dogs. You are asked to build a machine learning model considering this data set like others who might want to identify the image using certain rules application to dogs and cats. These rules can be the image with wider mouth means it's a dog, the image with pointy ears might indicate it's a cat, or the image with sharp claws might be a cat. If a single rule is applied individually to all the images there are higher chances of not getting accurate results therefore it is important to apply different rules to predict the output these rules reapply to identify whether it's a cat or a dog are called weak learners as these rules cannot define a cat or a dog individually this is because you cannot take only one feature to classify and make the final prediction For accuracy these predictions from weak learner are combined with each other using majority rules known as a strong learner model Now we have three weak learners out of which two state it's a cat and one states it's a dog therefore our final result is it's a cat note the majority always wins boosting is one of the most preferred algorithms used to increase the accuracy of the model 
Boosting is an effective method to extend the world's famous competitions considering boosting algorithms to implement boosting and bagging to arrive at a reliable solution. In simple words, boosting generates multiple weak learners and combines all predictions to arrive at a strong rule. With this, we come to the end of our topic, the tree-based model in machine learning. We hope now you understand the various tree-based models, specifically those explained in this session. We would love to hear your views about machine learning, tree-based models such as random forest, bagging, decision tree, etc. in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions about the topic we discussed in this video, you can leave them in the comment section below and we will be more than happy to answer them. Before leaving, let's quickly summarize our discussion. We started our today's session with a brief introduction to machine learning, the most powerful technology in today's time. We began by discussing the tree-based model in machine learning and what those are. In the next step, we learned the significance of the decision tree, one of the most important and widely used machine learning algorithms. As we move further, we discuss random forests, what they are and their advantages. Later, we discuss the two most important machine learning models, bagging and boosting. We ended today's conversation with a simple and clear definition of boosting. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel to show some love and support. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a new video so you don't miss out on an insightful update. We will see you next time with another insightful video.